to maybe tie back our hair a little bit if we're going to be outside. The winds have been gusting around 30 miles per hour. Right now, the wind gust in St. Louis is 26, but that's not, again, the strongest that we've seen. Nearly 30 miles per hour in Belleville, 25 was just measured in Sparta. So we're feeling these winds. It's because of the two areas of pressure that were kind of smushed in between right now. So we have high pressure out to the west. We have this area of low pressure out to the east. When they clear out of the way, then our winds calm down, but that doesn't happen until tomorrow. Do want to let you know that we're also seeing some clouds developing on the edge of that low pressure. So out east, it's a little bit cloudy. However, our county's out to the west, not seeing them at the moment. Here's our BJC Skycam view from Shiloh 72. We see that thin layer of clouds overhead. It's not preventing us from warming out there. We're still feeling those temperatures upper 60s, lower 70s. It is just below 70 in Arnold. 68 is a cooler spot out in Collinsville. 72 is the current temperature in Belleville. And look how steadily things start to calm down by 7 o'clock after the sun has set. Temperatures are in the mid 60s. The winds, they start calming as well. A clear night is ahead of us. Nine o'clock temperature, 60 degrees. A good night to get out there. Maybe enjoy the sunset if you can again, which is just before seven o'clock. But I do want to let you know about the sunrise and the sunset coming up in just a couple of days. When we start October sunrise at 656 AM, sunset at 643. So we're losing another 10 minutes of daylight or of that sunset time within the next week. And then additionally, by November 1st, that'll be the last time we have a six o'clock sunset until March. So the days are in the daylight hours. They're getting shorter. The nights are getting longer and things are getting cooler as well. Tomorrow, waking up to temperatures of 51 and then we enter this stretch where temperatures will be in the 40s as you're heading out to the bus stop. What about the high temperatures? So remember how I talked to you about that high pressure? It's going to start to take a track to the south and it's going to help things to warm up a little bit more tomorrow. 72 degrees. The low pressure is no longer impacting us. It's not as windy. However, we get a secondary area of high pressure developing Wednesday that drifts to the south. It pulls those winds from the north and pushes through our area a very weak cold front dropping our temperature 67 and that's one of the reasons why we're also going to have those overnight lows in the 40s as well because of that front that pushes through no rain for the next seven days. This is a very dry week ahead of us. It's a very good fall like week, so keep your eye on the weekend. I think that those fall like activities